I've been following this Milwaukee artist on social media for a while now. His name is Ike Winter. You may recognize some of his viral videos. I actually did a story with him back in 2021. I wanted to catch up with him again and learn about his recent success. How have you been these past like three years? It's been good, but it's also been ups and downs. Three years ago, Ike was just leaving his full-time job. He moved to Minneapolis to do art, then he switched gears to travel the country with a nonprofit, and now he's back in Milwaukee making art. Ike is a wood artist, with a catch. Every piece of art you see, um, I find wood out in society, whether it's in dumpsters or on the side of the road, and I use it in its natural state, aside from cutting it. I actually kind of dig it now. His art has no paint, no stain, no nothing. Everything you see here on the backside is all hand cut, and it's all cut to fit in perfectly, and there's no glue. This SpongeBob piece was made from 60 different wood sources to get everything just right. It's his SpongeBob and Rugrats designs that are getting tons of attention. He was making these mountain landscapes, but now he's tapping into our nostalgia. Pieces like those sell for thousands of dollars. I think nostalgia is the coolest drug in the world. Fans of his also resonate with his art that raises awareness about mental health issues. The number value uh, associated with Scrabble letters, instead of them just being the normal number value, I actually changed the value to be the suicide hotline number. While his art may have changed, the core message from this self-described delusional optimist has stayed the same. Promote positivity. And I truly have just a huge desire for putting good out to the world, and right now in my life, that's through art. He's reached millions of people with his art. He even made a custom piece for Mike Tyson, and now he hopes to make a big impact on Milwaukee. To get something eventually in the Milwaukee Art Museum, just because we have such an iconic building. But even if he doesn't, that doesn't bother him. He's made an impact on people's lives. That's what's most important to him. In Milwaukee County, James Groh, TMJ4 News.